Okay, let's see what kind of trouble we can get into here. You're out on a photo shoot and you're taking photographs, having a good time doing it. You take a whole series of images. Could be four, it could be 400 photos. In our case, it's only four. It's these four right here. The problem with them is they all have a fundamental flaw. They have the wrong color balance. Now, that's not necessarily unusual, but it's easy to fix when you take the photos. But I don't want to apply or go into Camera Raw 400 times individually and then apply this. So let's try something here. Let's open all four at the same time. So I'm going to select this one, hold the Shift key down, and click on this one. That's contiguous selection, and double click. Now, you'll notice something different when Raw opens, and that is you'll see them over here. Okay, so we've got these four photographs, and they all have a color balance problem. Maybe other things, too. So we look at it, and we say, okay, how do we fix it? Well, let's say that we know it's sunlight, which we do. So we select this one right here, and we come over to here for white balance and say daylight. And actually, that does fix the image. But let's make this a little bit harder. Let's go back to as shot. Let's say it's not that easy. We're having a difficult time trying to figure out exactly where the problem lies in terms of white balance. So we're going to do it a different way. We're going to pick up this tool right here. That's a white balance eyedropper. Go and select it. Now come down into the image. What you're looking for is very simple if it's there. You're looking for something that when the photograph was taken was a neutral tone, like a gray. That's all you need. Now I know that these areas right in here were gray. I know the sky was blue, but I'm going to click in this area right here. Watch what happens. Basically the same thing. I have fixed this one image. Now the other images were shot at the same time. So how do I kind of like do this to all of them all at once? Well, we have a main one here. Select this one. That's the one we fixed. Come up here and say select all. You have a button right here that says synchronize. Go ahead and select it. Now, synchronization involves any one of a number of these things. Usually, I'll just leave them all selected because it doesn't matter. If I didn't do something like shadows, then it won't do anything. So I just leave them all selected and click OK. Watch what happens. Well, all the images can form now to this one. You can then click Done over here, unless you want to go to Photoshop. And there they are. Now, let me show you something else while we're here. I mentioned to you when we set up our preferences that we chose a sidecar as opposed to using the Adobe Camera Raw library to hold our changes. Anytime you see that item on an image, that means there are changes to the image. If I right click my mouse on this image, one of my options, I really like this, is reveal in Finder. Now I know I'm in Bridge, but I really don't know where that folder is. So if I come over here and select it and right click, this is what I wanted to show you. These are the XMP files. Those are the sidecar files for the images that we changed. If I delete these files, these images will go back to looking like it looks over here. As you can see, that's the original. The reason we see it the way we see it is basically the simple fact that it's being adjusted by the XMP sidecar file. That's what that XMP file is. Notice it doesn't show it to you in the bridge, but it is in that folder. So if you have a bunch of images and you have a problem with a bunch of images and you want to fix them, that would be one, probably the most efficient way to do it, synchronize them.